morning guys. So yesterday we were mowing Triticale and we didn't quite finish everything up. So this morning first thing I'm going to do is go and finish those last three little fields. Uh, yesterday dad was coming behind me then with this tether and spreading it out so it would dry in the sun. Had a little issue though. One of the gearboxes stopped working. This is not our tether. So we actually need to unhook this now and they're bringing another one for us to use this morning. Now dad's going to take me over to the other farm where the mower is. Got to let the tractor warm up a little bit. These fields are ready to be planted. We got a bunch of corn to plant, so once I get done with this, we're probably going to hook up the planter and think about planting corn. This triticale is looking nice. Nice thing is at this farm, the fields we're not mowing, we can drive in. So I don't have to make a back cut and drive on some of the triticale to start off a field. I'm on the last field now. I guess my dad got another tatter, he's starting to catch up to me. Just finished the last field. So we'll head back home and unhook this. My dad got done tedding, now he unhooked the 7220, he's fueling that up because we're going to put it on the corn planter. Probably going to need to ted again. If we do, we're going to use this tractor, so I'll just park it in front of the tedder. We just went out and checked that field there. Stuff's starting to dry. We're planning to try and chop tomorrow. So we'll get the corn planter on and then we uh, need to get seed loaded and everything. These guys are working at the building site again today. Just a little bit more dirt to put on the back side. And they're breaking up some concrete. All this concrete is going to need to be torn out. So they were going to use some of it for fill today, I guess. It's an old bunk feeder. Just breaking it up. Before we load up the planter, we want to go check a couple fields and make sure they're actually fit. This field tends to be driest the quickest. Oh yeah. It's crumbly. We're at the quarry farm now. Checking uh, this as well. This looks really good. If it's that crumbly, you're good to plant. This usually gets dry quickly because it's more of a knob. Higher ground, there's more rocks. 
trains out quicker. Seed corn's getting delivered right now. Cutting it a little close, but they brought it when we need it, so that's all that matters. So this is our first year growing Bravant seed corn. Uh, it's actually the same as mycogen, which is what we were using before. They had a name change, uh, but this is a BMR brown midrib corn for high digestibility for dairy cows. We're gonna put a bag in each hopper and we'll get set up, ready to go. We put a seed coat product on the seed. Just a little bit of fertilizer to help it get going. And then we'll just stir that in a little bit. So each bag of corn has 80,000 seeds in it. And we want to plant about 30,000 seeds per acre. So one plant will do exactly 16 acres if we have it set up right. I need to make sure my gear ratio is correct for the population. We also have to put fertilizer in the center tank there. So I have this population chart. We're running on 30 inch rows. This thing always runs a little high, so I'm gonna shoot for 28.7 on the on the chart, and we should get about 30. That's what I found in reality. So that means 27 on the drive and 25 on the driven. So that's these gears right here. This is the, the drive. It's got 27 splines on it. That's the one that's already on here. And this is a 25. So that means we're set up already. We'll switch that for soybeans and different things. So I wanted to make sure we had the correct ones on again. This planter set up that you can run fertilizer two different ways. The center tank sends it out through the seed firmers, which is right on top of the seed. And then these two side tanks are connected and they've run through a separate pump and that puts, them out, puts fertilizer out these discs. So it's actually two inches off the row of seeds. We're actually not gonna use these this year. We're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna be putting some nitrogen in the center tank and we'll just be using one of the pumps. So I just wanna make sure this is set up properly. So right now it has a 16 on this side and a 52 on the driven which is right here and that's 7.4 gallons to the acre so we're shooting for right around seven so that'll be good the planter will be dropping the seeds out right between those two discs in there and then this is the seed firmer so the fertilizer will come right out the end of this on top of the seeds all right so we got the starter product in now we're going to add the UAN. We got the fertilizer in, now I'm just topping it off with water. We decided to experiment with not running these front fertilizer discs this year. They needed to be rebuilt and we just weren't sure if it was really necessary to use them in our system. We have some manure on the ground so we already have some nitrogen there. Wasn't sure if we needed to put so much on at planting. I'm ready to go now. I'm going to focus on planting corn the rest of today. The weather's beautiful right now. It's drying it out really good. So it's looking like we should be able to get the stuff dry by tomorrow to chop. One thing about a six row planter, it doesn't turn sideways as it's a little bit hard to take on the road. See, I can stay in my lane. If there's no traffic, it's not a problem. I'm gonna start planting a little bit and then we'll have to get out and check the seed depth. It usually takes a little bit to get going the first time. So I used to have to do four end rows with our new hollow tractor, but I'm thinking with this tractor we can get away with three just because I can turn around so much better. First I gotta get out and unlock the, the marker arms and then I'll turn my valves open for my fertilizer. sensor on each of the rows. It'll start blanking once I'm planting and if one stops coming for some reason it'll beep at me. As 
soon as I started going, it was saying row two wasn't putting out any seed. So let's see if we can figure out why. Yep, it's out of gear. Thought I had them all in gear. Should have checked that, but I guess we planted nothing in this little section. See these planting conditions are absolutely perfect it's completely covering over the seed if it's too wet it'll make a slice and you can see the seed down in the dirt sometimes even there's a seed right there i don't know why that was up there so i'm going to check the depth we'll see how deep these seeds are being planted there's a seed right there looking for about two inches deep no less that one could be maybe a little deeper be a challenge to find corn seeds. I've been here half an hour, 45 minutes, and I just went around the end of this field three times. I just was making sure everything was working right. I wasn't quite happy with how it was planting at first. We changed a couple things this winter, so I had to adjust the down pressure. I was adjusting them forward a little bit to push down a little bit more in the front. Got the marker sticking out the side, drawing a line. The next pass, I just follow that straight out in front of my tractor and it keeps the row spacing right. Going pretty good now. Took a little bit to get going here, but I think it's planting the right way now. So I'm running right at five miles an hour. Done about 10 acres. Almost done with this field. I think everything's working pretty good. So at first it wasn't planting quite right, and I realized some of these wheels weren't against the ground which means there wasn't enough pressure pushing down to force it into the ground enough these are your depth gauge wheels the discs here cutting a v and then dropping the seed down the center of it then you got your seed firmer in there put that little bit of fertilizer out and these are your closing wheels these are brand new this year they seem to be working pretty good I just noticed we have a problem back here. It's not good. These tires are what turns the uh, meters as you're driving. These drop down onto the wheels on the ground. Thankfully there's two of them so it was still spinning correctly but uh, I need to get a new tire on this thing now. We get the other one off we decided to be smart and we're going to change both of them even though this one didn't blow it's starting to dry around a little bit might as well fix it now so it's a little after 4 30 right now i went to the tire shop and they didn't have the right tires in stock so they're going to order them in and get them tomorrow it's not really a problem though because our custom guy wants to come start chopping soon. So I'm heading right now to get the rake and we'll get that hooked up and start raking some of this triticale up. So I 
got the rig hooked up and we just went and got a silo ready. They're gonna start chopping pretty soon. I'm here with Blake, he's riding with me. chopping that's the second load just getting started I got the whole home farm rigged and they're gonna start making an ag bag soon so we're getting set up for that right here I didn't get a chance to film them setting up the bagger because I'm raking but I'm gonna run over and we'll just see how things are coming along real quick right across the road from the farm I'm able to stay ahead of the chopper I can actually go faster than he can Just getting the bag started. I'm done raking for tonight. They just wanted me to rake enough to fill these two bags. I'm just gonna park this tractor out of the way somewhere. because we weren't sure our silos would hold all the feed and we need a little bit more feed up at this farm anyway because of our new heifer barn. This machine is just packing it in tight. You want to make sure you pack it tight to force the oxygen out so the feed doesn't spoil. The machine has a, a backstop on it and there's cables that go back to it to keep tension. So it's holding itself back and it packs it in nice and tight and the tractor just sits in neutral just inches forward as the feed goes in. This is the first time we've ever put Triticow in a bag, so it'll be good to try it out and see how it works, see how the feed turns out. This cable right here is connected to a backstop, and it's just keeping tension on it. So it packs it in tight. We got the second bag going now. I actually had to go rake a little bit more to make sure we had enough for them tonight. So I'm gonna call it quits once we get to the end of this. This will be the last load going in. 
tomorrow they'll come back and finish up. There's still another 20 acres or so. He's gonna hook this up to his pickup truck so he can take it home. It's about 12.30 at night. <laughs> 